In the previous videos, we showed you how to use the Shader Toy Generator to create amazing graphic effects using programming. But you also have the possibility of using the Shader Toy Modifier to develop new modifiers and extend the list of autograph modifiers. If we type the word VHS in the Shader Toy search module, we'll see there are a large number of shaders available that can be applied to existing images. These types of shaders let you add artifacts like glitches, distortions, or even chromatic aberrations to images. Let's focus on this shader created by BoySX, which combines both VHS tape artifacts and digital glitches. By taking a look at the shader code, we can see that several parameters have been defined. These parameters aim to control the glitches and artifacts that'll be generated on the original image by this shader. By setting the glitch minimizer to one, we can see that the glitches become much more pronounced. We can move these variables to the beginning of the code for easy access. Let's go back into Autograph and import an open EXR image sequence we want to work on. The goal here is to use the Shader Toy modifier to apply digital artifact and glitch effects to this image sequence. Keep in mind that instead of using the Shader Toy generator, which is used to produce an image from scratch, we'll add a Shader Toy modifier that'll be applied to the current image. Here is the editor where we can paste the code, but we don't see the iChannel 0 slot that was present in the Shader Toy Generator. This is completely normal since iChannel 0 represents the source of the shader layer. Let's go back to Shader Toy to copy the code created by BoySX and paste it into Autograph's editor to see these glitches applied to the image sequence. In the Shader Toy interface, it's possible to modify the source of iChannel 0 to replace it with another video. In Autograph, iChannel 0 represents the source of the layer, which can also be modified at any time. Keep in mind that this code, especially its first lines, contains variables that define these glitch and artifact parameters. Reducing the glitch minimizer value will increase the size of the glitches and increasing this value will reduce their size. To extract this variable, we simply need to copy its name, click on the plus button to add a uniform, and use the same name for a new float type variable. When we change the uniform value, ShaderToy says there's an error because this variable has been declared twice, once in the code itself and a second time as an external uniform. If we remove this variable from the code, we can control the size of the glitches with this external variable. The next step is to add a control panel attached to the composition housing the image sequence. This control panel will let us choose the parameters we want to expose to users. Here we'll only select the glitch minimizer variable, but we could of course expose all shader parameters. But before that, we'll create a new image connection slot. With this slot, we can connect the layer onto which we want to add our modifier to the shader in question. After creating it, we'll click on the button with the gear icon and click on the Is Modifier Source option. This way, the connector will be replaced with the layer source when we add the modifier. Now we'll connect this modifier's entry point by copying the link, expanding the layer source parameters, and clicking on Paste Link. We can test this connection by dragging the image sequence reader to this entry point. As we can see, the layer in the composition now uses the source. Now that we've checked, we can disconnect the reader from the slot. We'll expose the glitch minimizer by simply dragging it into the control panel. We can rename this parameter using the Enter key to change it to Glitches, spelled with ES. Keep in mind that this image parameter will use the modifier layer source. Since this composition is the only one in the project, it's automatically tagged as the main composition. We'll go to File, Export as Package, 
and then this time we'll select modifier instead of generator. Now we need to define an identifier like com.leftangle.modifier.glitch. We'll set the name glitches for this new modifier and click on export. The folder documents left angle autograph my packages now contains a new file with the extension AGT. We can see the ID that was defined during the export process, but we can also see that the file size is 450 megabytes. This is because the OpenEXR image sequence that was part of the project was embedded during export. Now we'll completely remove this image sequence from the project window and go to the File Export menu again. This time we'll rename the identifier GlitchLight and we'll also use the name GlitchLight to label the modifier. We'll click on Export again and we can see that a new AGT file has been added to our Documents folder. This time it's much lighter, only 3 kilobytes. Now we can close the project and create a new one by importing the image sequence with our scientists again. Then we can finish off by creating a composition based on this element. Now we can add the new glitch light modifier, which shows up on the list. The image slot that defined the entry point is no longer visible, but the glitches parameter allows us to set the intensity of the glitches. This parameter can now be animated just like any other parameter. For example, we can set an initial value of 3, add a new keyframe, and then move in the animation to change this value. This way, we can reduce the glitches at the beginning of the animation and then make them more prominent later on. It's essential to remember that the goal here is not to copy and paste code without permission to create new modifiers. We should respect the work of these artists by inspecting the usage license when available or by directly contacting the developers. It's worth mentioning that we've only used one shader here, but it's entirely possible to add other layers with stock shots of film burns or grains before creating the package. These elements can then be packaged and encrypted inside of the package.